All right, and now we're going to move on to the question part of our discussion today. Speaking first will be our program director, Liesl Bohan. Liesl, the first question for you is, what makes the Bridge MBA program unique? Um, the Bridge MBA program is unique in that it is designed specifically for non-business majors who are in the early stages of their careers and who come from a variety of undergraduate backgrounds. The program provides a strong business foundation coupled with the opportunity for hands-on experience in the classroom, uh, working on group projects with their cohort and by, and by participating in an internship. Um, in addition, the program includes a year's worth of co-curricular activities that are designed to support students um, in their growth and development um, and to assist them in their job search and prepare them for their careers post-graduation. Wonderful, thank you. And also who might be interested in the Bridge MBA program as it is a very specific, unique program. Uh, yes, we get all sorts of students who um, want to be part of this program. Sometimes it's someone who wants to uh, better understand the business side of, of their major, uh, setting them up to return to their field of study uh, post, uh, post graduation with a broader skill set. Um, sometimes it's an individual who doesn't know what they want to do and they want to explore um, more options. Uh, we get people who are, want to be entrepreneurs and um, they're looking for the knowledge and structure so that they can someday run a business of their own. Um, and then we also get individuals who want to completely pivot, try something new, change the trajectory of their career, um, and basically just open up a wider range of career options. So lots of different reasons for joining the Bridge MBA program. Thank you, Liesl. Next, we're gonna be going on to Tori Victoria Olive, who is our admissions counselor who helps us out at graduate admissions. Tori, first question for you, what does the profile of an average bridge applicant look like? And how can someone who is interested figure out if they're qualified? the easiest way to figure out um, whether or not you're qualified is to, um, you know, reach out to me or to reach out to Liesl um, and we can talk through that with you. Um, the biggest thing is that, you know, we, we'd like you to have um, a non-business undergraduate degree and um, under two years of work experience. So that's going to be the, um, the main, uh, the main piece right there. Um, but uh, I would say the typical student, I mean, uh, most people are coming straight out of undergrad. Um, as Liesl mentioned, you know, they're, they're looking to kind of jumpstart their careers. So getting that, um, that professional credential before they kind of start their initial job searches, um, that's really common. Um, but we do tend to see people from um, all kinds of places. So within the Seattle area, outside of Seattle, within the broader United States, um, many, many international students. So there's not really um, a limit in that sense. Thanks, Tori. Can you also speak to applicants who have an international three-year degree? What do they need to know when applying? Of course. Um, the most important thing for folks who have the equivalent of an international three-year degree is that um, per university policy, you will be required to submit GMAT or GRE scores. Um, so if you're unsure if that meet, if you know, you kind of fall into that category. Again, it's best to double check with me first and I can give you um, direction on how to do that. Um, but uh, that is a requirement that you'll need to submit. So it's important during your application process that when you're figuring out um, your timing and kind of preparing ahead that you have, if you haven't already sat for that exam, that you have um, space set aside for, you know, study, preparation, scheduling, and eventually taking the exam. Those are some great tips. Thank you so much, Tori. All right, moving on to our current students right now. Um, this question is for both Mark and Maria. Why did you select the Bridge MBA program and what are you finding most valuable in the program and are you satisfied with your choice? Um, so I chose the Bridge MBA program because it's designed for young professionals that want to change the trajectory of their career. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I started civil engineer in undergrad and I want to switch to the tech industry. So knowing that the program focuses on transitions of careers made me feel more comfortable. 
I knew I would have the support I needed to get through this moment. Yeah, and um, building off of what Maria just said, I um, I actually started the Bridge MBA program just for a more practical reason, because COVID hit, um, I had kind of um, uh, an opportunity to pick up different skill sets in a time where the economy wasn't um, so great. Um, so I'd recommend, you know, if students have um, a year to dedicate to this program, it's, it's very helpful, you know, especially for people like me who studied English in undergrad and might want to pick up different skill sets. Um, it's, it's really, it's really helpful for me um, because I was able to, you know, combine the qualitative um, kind of skills that I learned in undergrad um, and apply it to the ethics class or the organizational behavior class with the quantitative skills um, um, such as accounting or finance. Um, and these are skills that I haven't really touched on um, since maybe my freshman year of college. So to be able to refresh that and build different skills was um, definitely a great opportunity for me. Yeah, um, going off of what Mark said, one of the things that I like the most in the program um, are the extracurricular activities offered. And during the winter break, Mark and I participated of the of a virtual competition and where we developed a business plan with students from India. And it was an amazing opportunity to apply um, the skills we learned in class and to work with people from different country. And it was a very interesting challenge and I totally recommend it on this um, extracurricular activity and the program as a whole. Thank you both so much. Um, it's really great to hear both your answers and hear your experiences. So I do have an additional question for um, Mark first. Um, as a student with a non-business liberal arts undergraduate degree, what would you say to people who are considering applying but who are worried that they may not be able to be successful in the program without having a business or quantitative background? Yeah, I mean, I'd, uh, first, I just say, like, it's a totally um, valid concern um, to, you know, wonder if you'd be a good fit for the program. But what I'll say is that um, regardless of whatever kind of educational background that you have, the bridge program is great for you. And it's, you know, it's constructed for you. So I, I feel very at home and very welcomed by all my professors and, and instructors. Um, and they've really helped me kind of um, come out of my shell and apply my quantitative stuff. Um, and skills. And these are skills I didn't think I had, but they're very patient with me and very, um, very, yeah, very patient and kind of helped me move forward. So I'd highly recommend um, if even if you have a little doubt to still apply because um, it's worth it for sure. Glad to hear it, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Maria, I do have a second question for you as well. As an international student in the bridge program, what is the experience like? And do you have any suggestions for other international students who are applying? Um, so the opportunity so far has been great. Um, I'm halfway through the program and I already feel like I could work in so many different areas related to business. And that's very exciting. Um, in terms of experience, I love the opportunity of studying with people from different countries and backgrounds. There are many different perspectives in the cohort. We need to reach a lot of discussions in class. Um, another thing that I, that I really like in, is that everybody in the university is very welcoming, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and they're always willing to help. And on suggestions, there are a few that I would give to international students who are applying to the Bridge MBA program. First, try to have all of your documents ready a few months in advance. Some of them may take longer to get, so plan it ahead. And if you would need help on documents, reach out to the admissions office, to Terry, to Tori, and they are super helpful. And additionally, take advantage of the resource offered by the university, especially those for international students, um, like the International Student Center and the English Language Learning Center. They can help you to write essays, prepare presentations, write strong resume and cover letter, and even with mock interviews. And in addition, I highly recommend to any student to reach out to the Albers Career and Placement Center. They are very experienced people and that can help you to figure out what, do what job you want and what you need to get it. Thank you so much, Maria. I really appreciate your insight. Claire, this next 
Next, I want to turn to Claire, who is one of our alumni of the Bridge program. Claire, how did the Bridge MBA program help prepare you for your post-graduation job search? The biggest thing that the Bridge MBA program did to help prepare me for my post-grad job search was teach me how to network and setting me up with a great group of role models and peers to support me. Before entering the program, I was incredibly shy and nervous about asking people for help, but the program really forces you into it in the best way. The mentorship program is an obvious help when it comes to networking skills, but also the guest speakers and teachers were great resources for practicing. While searching for a job post-grad, I used my networking skills to help me build a network of people that were willing to give me advice and teach me about their roles. Being able to speak with people I've never met before, but had some sort of connection through someone else helped me realize what kind of role I was looking for and what I should be doing to become more attractive to potential employers. Thank you so much, Claire. And also, what is your current role and how do you think the Bridge MBA program helped prepare you? So I'm currently a marketing coordinator and director of strategy at the Brown Retail Group with Marcus and Melichap. I oversee my team's marketing strategies and create a variety of marketing materials to help them and our clients succeed. Aside from the classes, which obviously helped me learn a lot of new skills, the most important thing that the Bridge MBA program did to prepare me for my current role was when it comes down to it, just give me confidence. Prior to the BMBA, I was in science and I couldn't see myself in a role like this. I didn't think that it would be something that I was capable of, but um, I knew that I wanted it. And the Bridge MBA gave me the confidence to walk into interviews and truly really feel like I deserved the position over other candidates and that I would succeed at it. Thank you so much, Claire. And thank you to all of our panelists here today. I really appreciate spending the time to help us and answer all these great questions for our applicants.